Hello besties. It is a morning video. I usually film these videos when the sun is up. Today, we're gonna try something different. We get cozy together. It's morning, so I have a cup of coffee. Today's video is going to be five things I wish I knew two months ago. <laughs> I started medical school about six, seven weeks ago, and this is gonna be a list of five things I wish I knew two months ago. For some context, I am a first year medical student, I'm studying at the University of Maastricht and we're currently doing a new curriculum. There are only two universities in the Netherlands where you can do your bachelor's in English and your master's have to be in Dutch. In order to practice in the Netherlands you have to speak Dutch. So these are five things I wish I knew before starting. The first thing is, you're going to be coming in from different backgrounds. If you got into medical school you're probably used to hard work and I am used to being able to get it in the zone and study. I have done really well on a lot of exams in my life and so I know what hard work is but I had just taken a year away from studying well I was studying a lot for entrance exams and everything but I had taken a year off from being in formal education. I thought that after a year out of formal education I would be able to just get back into it even after a summer, I'm sure everyone can relate to this, after a summer break, it takes some adjusting before you get back into the rhythm of things. Something I wish I knew was that I wouldn't just like first week be able to study 40 hours in one week and just get straight into it and everything is back to the normal flow of things. So, first thing I wish I knew was that I'm not going to just get back into it and it takes time and this is okay. I finally feel seven weeks in that I'm back in the flow of things. Number two, it's messy. Embrace the mess and no one is as organized as you think. Like, when I actually started speaking to people, I was like, oh, I thought everyone was like already on their grind, that everyone was all super organized and knew what was going on. But that's actually not the case. I'm trying to figure out your new university, trying to figure out all the different applications that they use. Like my, uni my last university used Blackboard. My current university uses Canvas. You know, so it also takes getting used to and the professors are also getting used to new things see for me it's extra up in the air and not so clear all the time because it's a new curriculum and everybody's trying to figure it out it's not conventional curriculum so I also don't know what to ask and I kind of flow into like what I'm used to but then that's not what it is so it just it's gonna be messy up here everywhere just embrace the mess, embrace the chaos, because if anything, like the chaos gives you an opportunity to kind of find your footing. Because if everything was super organized, you would also be expected like, okay, everything's clear and organized and you should know exactly what to do faster. I think universities realize that it takes some getting used to and the first few weeks are going to be a bit messy. So I just wish I knew that it was going to be messy and that I should just embrace the mess and the chaos. I mean, I did embrace it to a certain degree, but I wish I kind of just like savored it, you know? Not knowing what is going on. It's just funny, you know? <laughs> I don't know how else to explain it. The third thing is you'll get things wrong and that's okay. I remember in my like fourth or fifth week, we had a duo lecture slash expert meeting. We had a combined topic lecture so it was based it was evidence-based medicine and cardiogenic shock so we'd already had a lecture on evidence-based medicine so this is like a follow-up and then combining it with the actual clinical scenario like how you would just facts about cardiogenic shock like the knowledge but then also combining it with evidence-based medicine how these two can work together right and i misread canvas i completely misread it i, I just did half of the readings. I did the readings for the evidence-based medicine and I show up and I'm chatting with my classmates and they're like, yeah, and then the video and then and then I didn't get the chapter about hypovolemic shock and I was just like, what chapter about hypovolemic shock? Like, what are you talking about? It's okay. I went to the lecture, I learned a lot. I didn't know anything, I didn't read anything about cardiogenic shock and it's okay. Everyone's figuring things out and it's okay if you get things wrong. And in that moment before the lecture, like my heart sunk and I was like, today's going to be the worst. Like, I had this moment of anxiety and actually I've been handling my nerves very well this semester. But in that moment I was like, oh sh**, like, I f***ed up. And it was a two hour lecture, so I was sitting there for two hours like, 
When the evidence-based medicine part came though, I was, I knew what the was going on. But for the shock, I had no idea. That's okay, you're gonna get things wrong. And the good thing about making these mistakes early on is that you don't make them later. One advice which I got was like, to kind of see how you want to enter these expert meetings or lectures or whatever you have, have some some of those sessions come in a bit underprepared, what you would consider underprepared. See how it goes. Then maybe come in a bit like over prepared. See how it goes. And then you kind of find what works best for you. Because if you also go over prepared, then it's a bit, you know, you spend a lot of time, you go there and you don't really gain anything. Because you already maybe knew everything, you went above and beyond the scope of the topic. If you go under prepared, maybe you realize, okay, I was a bit under, uh, too under prepared. I didn't know what to ask, I didn't know what was going on. Find the common ground of being prepared but not too prepared but not underprepared then you have the perfect middle ground where you learn you can ask questions you're not bored because you feel like you know too much you're not lost because you know too little so it's about like finding what works for you and getting things wrong and then eventually you get them right and that's okay next age doesn't matter don't think about it like after high school you're off bachelor of three years another year off that's five years <laughs> means I'm 23 and I thought I'll be the oldest in my course and part of me was like I don't care I got in like I want to do it so like I don't care but I really thought I'd be the oldest and even though I didn't care part of me did still care when I arrived first of all I realized I was not the oldest one which even if I was that would even be an honor I was not the oldest one everyone's on their own journey education knows no age so if you are thinking of applying to medical school but you feel like oh maybe I'm too old or you have gotten in and you're a bit anxious about your age or something like that like just don't worry about it do your thing but in conclusion age doesn't matter you're on your own journey just go get your degree like <laughs> it doesn't matter you get it at any age maybe not any age but you can get it at you know you can be 35 and you can start medical school if that's your calling that's your calling my final thing is something which i wish i knew more about like studying and organization and i wish i decided an organization system before starting if you're coming straight out of high school out of another bachelor you might be feel inclined to do the same things you were doing before but every education system is different like the way my classes are structured now is very different to my last you might feel inclined to follow the same way of studying, the same way of organizing yourself. That might not work. It might work as well. I knew that it probably wouldn't work. My last organization. I didn't even have an organization system. <laughs> like, I was all over the place, y'all. Now I'm studying medicine. Everything that I'm learning, I want to know it for life. So I need to know a lot of these things, not just for an exam, but for my career forever, you know. In theory, I need to know everything forever. So it takes a different kind of studying, you know. You want your everything to be very organized. I should be able to find things back in the future. So I just wish I had decided how I wanted to organize my different uh, topics before starting. So when you're studying medicine, you're not just studying anatomy, physiology, that's not it. We're also learning clinical skills, you know, like how to do percussion, how to take blood pressure. We have skills that we learn. So it's, it's skills, anatomy, physiology, the science stuff, then we have, like today I have statistics and epidemiology, we have stuff about research. We have research, like you need to be able to read research. And then we have consultation skills, consultation and reflection skills. And then we have tutorial meetings. So everything has its own little section. And I can't study for everything in the same way. So now that I am a bit more familiar with the curriculum, I've decided exactly how I want to organize all my different all these different pieces of the pie because every slice of pie is different I have decided how I want to organize everything easy to study easy to follow easy to find so my tip is in the first week kind of gauge what your education is going to look like you can already look on the website beforehand but once you get to the study then you know what it's actually like and how much time you actually have and how many readings you actually have and then in the first week or two, decide exactly how you want to organize everything, how you want to study for everything. Some things you can change along the way, that's fine. But if you can decide as early on as possible, that will save you a lot of time and a lot of hassle because now I'm in the phase where I have to reorganize my notes in the way that I want it to be. That is pretty much it. We moved to the iPhone camera because my camera is cold.
yeah so it's been my five things i wish i knew before starting medical school seven weeks ago <laughs> hope it was helpful hope you gained something from this video and if you're not sitting there then hopefully it applies to whatever study you're doing thank you for watching and see you in the next video time to go to class